Quick disclaimer before we begin, the PEMF podcast does not contain any medical advice and the content provided is for informational purposes only. If you have any health concerns, please visit a healthcare professional. Welcome back to episode 18 of the PEMF podcast. And today we're going to be talking about PMF and grounding and kind of what the difference is between PMF and grounding because there seems to be kind of a lot of confusion. Are they the same thing? Do they do the same thing or are they completely different devices? But there might be a couple of people now that might only have heard of grounding and they might not actually be too sure what PMF actually is. So can you just quickly, very quickly explain it? Obviously, I know a lot of people already would know, um, but what is PMF? So PEMF stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy, and it's all about replicating the Earth's magnetic field. So we create in a magnetic field from a device, which people can use, they can lay on, they can sit on, they can apply it to local areas of the body. And it's going to create an environment in the body to better heal. Okay, great. So now on the other hand, there's probably a lot of people that might listen to our podcast, maybe on a regular basis, and they might not be too sure what grounding is, or they might have never really kind of heard about it. So what is grounding for anyone who doesn't know? So grounding, and this is a, a question we get asked a lot, you know, what is grounding? What is PMF? Why are they different? So it's a great one to, to talk about and to discuss. So if we look at grounding to start with, so you may have heard, you know, from biohackers and or just people that are really influenced by their overall health, that standing on the grass outside in your garden or standing on, um, you know, the, the sand on the beach and just walking out in nature is really beneficial to us. So obviously what happens is the earth, uh, the earth actually has its own electrical charge. So the only way we can connect ourselves back to that Earth's natural charge is to take our shoes off, put our feet on the grass, or put our feet onto the ground. And we're reconnecting ourselves back to Earth's nature and that electric charge and magnetic field. We living in a world now that's hugely industrialized. So we are in buildings, we have rubber soles on our feet, and we're taken away from that magnetic field and that earth's natural charge a lot more these days so to bring yourself back to nature the best way to do that is to quite simply take your shoes off and go into uh, the outside and put our feet back into nature by standing on some grass so you mentioned that the earth has its own kind of magnetic charge kind of similar to what the pmf devices kind of give out um what is the intensity and frequency of these this magnetic field? Just for a little bit of perspective for anyone who might listen to the podcast quite a lot and kind of knows a little bit about their frequency and intensity. Yeah, so the Earth's natural magnetic field, um, it has a frequency of 7.8 hertz. So a lot of devices you'll notice have, uh, they call it the Schumann resonance, and that is the 7.8. So many devices will be set up to 7.8 or pretty much same thing, very close is the eight hertz frequency setting. So that's the, the frequency of the earth and the intensity ranges from about 0.25 to about 0.65 gauss. So less than a gauss and it all depends on where in the world you are. So closer to the poles tends to be a higher intensity. Um, as you move further away, then it's it's lower intensity when you when you're connecting yourself back to that electrical charge. So when we're looking at PMF devices, if we're looking at a device that's less than one uh, Gauss, then you know in my mind, you, you may as well just go and put your feet on the grass. Okay, great. And um, and because of these kind of similar kind of frequencies and intensities, a lot of people seem to kind of confuse them. Um, so can you kind of explain what a grounding mat actually is for someone who might not fully know? Because it seems a lot of people get the wires crossed because of all of the, the similarities in the intensities and the frequencies. So yeah, people often confuse PMF mats and grounding mats. So I'll explain exactly what a grounding mat is. Uh, a grounding mat is basically... Um, a mat that you can plug into uh, your um, either a power mains so that you go straight through the ground or some of them actually come with like a spike which you can you know effectively put into the ground outside in your garden run a wire up to your mat so why why are people using grounding mats and pmf mats when they could be going outside 
realistically, it's, you know, we live in the UK. Uh, last week it was minus two degrees. So to say that I'm going to get up every morning and every evening and go out into the garden, take my shoes off and stand in the grass for 20 minutes is a little bit unrealistic. Um, not to say it can't be done, but when it comes to grounding mats, that's effectively what you're doing. And you can replicate that for free. You can go outside into your garden. You can stand outside with, with your shoes off and, and experience those benefits. Um, so bringing it inside the house with a grounding mat is one that you can effectively either put onto your mattress. So there's grounding mats you can put onto your mattress. There's grounding mats you can just put onto the floor in the house. Um, and then you can either stand on those or lay on those. And the evidence is a lot less than there is with PMF devices because PMF is um, easier to see the benefits through a microscope or easier to actually feel the difference. And grounding mats is just um, a little bit more anecdotal, but it's not to say that it's, it's not effective. Okay, great. So you mentioned that obviously you can use the grounding mats to kind of replicate the Earth's magnetic field and kind of what you would get from standing outside uh, when you might not want to, when it is like snowing, for example, like it was here last week. But can you actually use these grounding mats almost to replicate a PMF mat? So the simple answer is no. Um, the biggest difference is the intensity and the fact that you can edit frequencies. So Comparing the two devices, you've got a grounding mat and a PMF mat. Grounding mats seem, seem to be uh, a lot more cost effective. Um, there isn't really much technology or materials that go into building a grounding mat. Um, but the, the, the biggest difference really is that a PMF system, you know, we, we don't really recommend any device that is personally anything over about 20, 30 gauss is, is what we recommend. Whereas um, you can get PMF devices that are about one gauss. And as I mentioned before, the Earth's natural magnetic field, which you would effectively get from a good grounding mat if, it, if it's doing what it needs to be doing, is anything up to about 0.65 gauss. So intensity for me, we've mentioned this on other podcasts, we've talked about it quite a lot now. And uh, intensity is all about really the, the if you get the good kind of intensity you're going to get results a bit quicker so the biggest difference really is time in which you need to spend on that system so a good pmf mat you only need to spend two um, 10 to 20 minutes on it um, you can do that once or twice a day you know um, a grounding system you're possibly not going to get the benefits from that system as quickly the the other effects that you can see on a dark microscope and the change in the blood viscosity and how thin the blood is, is, is quite evident on PMF systems. So it's something that you can test your blood before if you've got um, quite sticky blood and if the blood isn't traveling around the system very well. Then something that you can see on a, on a microscope is to test the blood before and test the blood after. On a PMF device, you get quite a distinctive um, difference in those two blood samples. So, the, the other thing is the frequency. So obviously the earth has a natural frequency of 7.8 and with a grounding mat, that's, that's all you'll ever get. Obviously that is what is plugged is tuned into, uh, PMF mats, you can change your frequency and you know, the therapeutic benefit frequencies, the most natural frequencies are anything lower than about 50 Hertz. Um, but personally, I find that using higher frequency in the morning, 25 Hertz, anything above that is is better to keep you kind of like motivated keep you going give you energy increase your atp whereas you go throughout the day you want to start bringing things down so you want to lower that frequency and you want to lower it to eight hertz the the schumann resonance or or lower in deep sleep we're actually anything from one to four hertz so if we want to influence if we want to maximize the benefits of of magnetic fields pmfs and a decent PMF mat is definitely the way to do it over a grounding system. Okay, great. So just to summarize then, you can use a PMF mat as a grounding mat, but you can't use a grounding mat as a PMF mat. Exactly that. So like you just said, you can replicate a grounding mat, but to a much higher intensity using a PMF system. Um, but the usability of, of a grounding mat is, is very limited to 
a very, very, very low intensity and the 7.8 Schumann resonance. If you do have any other questions about grounding that you might think we might not have answered in this podcast, if you leave them underneath whatever platform you're listening on, Spotify, YouTube, anywhere, uh, and we'll make sure to answer that in our next PMF Talk episode. Or if you have any other questions about PMF in general, make sure to leave them in the comments of wherever you are and we will make sure to answer them, even if you're on TikTok, uh, which a lot of people seem to like because it's nice bite-sized uh, clips about PMF. But if you haven't already, if you can leave us a five star rating on whatever platform you're on uh, and make sure to give us a follow on all of our platforms, especially the ones you're listening from, because the more followers and the more ratings we get, the better the guests get and the better their episodes get each week. Thanks for listening.